Northern has had a satisfactory first half with equivalent refined metal production increasing by 4.7% to 246,000 ounces. Both Zondeander and Boisendal posted operating profits, resulting in normalized headline earnings of 189 million rands. Our growth strategy remains on track with the development of Boisendal South gaining momentum and our acquisitions recently finalized. The total capital expenditure for the period was 2.6 billion rands. This is a very large number for Northern and reflects our strong investment in PGM mining and processing. The palladium price increased by 26% and the rhodium price by 65%, whilst platinum remained flat. Platinum fundamentals in the market are set to improve in 2018. Tighter exhaust emission standards are being rolled out in China from this year, resulting in higher rhodium loadings for the three-way gasoline catalyst systems. The combination of stronger Chinese demand and a reduction in South African mine supply has tightened the market. We believe rhodium will remain strong throughout 2018. And I would like to point out that our permanent workforce has increased by 6% during this period in preparation for access to the Tamela block. That was a creation of some 357 jobs. Martin Creamer from Mining Weekly Online. I was really pleased to hear in the sunrise atmosphere now that we've got with Cyril Ramposa as the president that you are actually employing more people. We will definitely be employing more people at all of the operations with the exception perhaps of Boisendal North which is already at at full nameplate capacity. So we'll, we intend to employ or create more jobs, more at Zondeenda as we ramp up to 350,000 ounces. Boisendal South Mine, which is a significant development in, over the course of the next two to three years. Uh, uh, potentially up to 3,000 jobs will be created in that environment, both a combination of project jobs and full-time permanent jobs over the life of mine. And if we do choose to restart Eland, of course, in the Brits area, we do have the ability of employing a similar number of people there. Uh, on that point, uh, Eland, we, the board will consider Eland in June. I don't want to preempt the board's decision, but we will have a very strong eye on the market condition. Uh, I'm talking now about the combination of the dollar pricing and the rand dollar exchange rate. And in particular, with a view to the ore mix at Elan, which is UG2, so it's rhodium dominant. So we'll take a view on not only our business planning, but also how does the market look at that particular point in time. In simple terms, does the market want the metal or not? And if the market gives us the right pricing signal, we do have the ability to restart Elan creating up to 3,000 years. <coughs> Part of the sunrise is also the bad news of a strong rand. The stronger rand in the immediate uh, makes it very difficult for the miners. However, in the long term, because we are less likely to import inflation, it's a good thing. So medium to long term, nothing wrong with a strong rand. Quick changes, of course, make it difficult for miners to adapt. We do think because of the concentration of platinum production in SA, you get a corresponding movement in the dollar price for rand strength. So there is a direct linkage between the metal prices in dollars and the rand dollar exchange rate, which over time at least does seem to balance itself out. One of the measures of Sunrise is capital expenditure. You are capex rich. Can you give us the total of how much you're spending and how much you will have spent? The total expenditure this year, combination of acquisition and capital, will be 3.8 billion rand. For our FY18, our FY19, 1.9 billion, our FY20, 1.5 billion, and beyond that, a stay in business or sustaining capex of 1 billion for the, for the bigger group. But remember, during the course of that three-year build, we doubled the size of the company. It's good to see you recycling. It's good to be in this recycling business. It is in the US. Is it possible to actually put some of that material through your new furnaces? We intend to do exactly that. Recycling, recycling is an essential part of this market, absolutely essential. Uh, these metals are catalysts. By, by definition, a catalyst does not get changed during the course of the reaction. That's why it's called a the catalyst. Therefore, it can be reworked. 
very, very important. We would like to participate in that sector of the broader PGM industry. And the material that we target will go through the Zonda and the furnace. The new furnace has doubled our ability to process now. So, so about 500,000 ounces a year of processing. We now have a million ounces, a million ounces. with the new furnace.